Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about this 1956 Beetle that was sent to us uh, as a build -a bug project for restoration. Uh, and as you can see this car was uh, auctioned at RM Auctions back in 2016 and when we got the car it was very original. Uh, seats, door panels, interior, numbers matching from top to bottom really did not have a restoration at any point in its life but maybe one respray in the outside. Um, original headliners all there and really remarkable um, but once we started to tear it apart you start to see some cancer rust and uh, what you start doing is then all of a sudden the dollar signs start popping into your head of what it's going to take to get this thing back together so you can see like the spare tire tub area needs to be replaced the rockers here heater channels um, quarter panels things like that here we have it off the chassis on a rig and we can really see what we need to do and this is the best way to do these things. Um, but on the market today, uh, here's a heater channel that needs to be replaced. So on the market today, WolfsburgWest.com or CIP1.com, they have these blowouts like this, and you can see all the different panels that you can get. Now, a lot of these panels, they're not year specific, so they're going to take a lot of finagling to get them to work right. But they are using companies like Autocraft or other places overseas, like a rear apron like this that you see, an H apron, which is only for ovals and 50s beetles. Or you go to uh, Wolf Parts. This is a remarkable website, wolfparts.com, that has incredible paneling. And you can see front panels there for split windows. And then there's also restoration panels that we're starting to get stuff. The fitment of this metal is fantastic, especially for older beetles. Um, you know, I really recommend using them. Also, there's classicfab.com. Uh, this is Gerson, the green stuff, and he's got the best heater channels on the market. Yeah, you're going to pay more money, about $300 a heater channel, but they fit perfect. Uh, and by us getting all those panels from those websites, you can see how now the project is coming along. Yes, you can get the other stuff from CIP or JBugs or Wolfsburg, but it takes a lot of finagling to get them to fit right. They're not year specific. Uh, restoration panels and classic fab. I mean, these items are pretty much year specific, so the fitment is fantastic. So, if you can get your hands on those, you're going to spend more money for sure. Uh, but um, it, it cuts down on labor costs when it comes time to put the car together. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, things are starting to shape up for this car. And, uh, you know, complete body off resto, it's on a nice rig here and they're able to turn the body when they need to to work on it. There's a front apron right there that's also from uh, overseas. I mean, I think Restoration Panels or Wolf Parts carries those and the shipment is great. I mean, it's a few days I got the, I got the material in, so it's pretty nice. Really comes out well. This is the right way to do a restoration, right way to do a paint job. Um, it's just gonna, everything's gonna last much longer and things in, you know, when it's all gutted, it's, it comes out real nice. Now here's a heater channel from Classic Fab. Perfect heater channel. They got the grills in the right spot. Rear apron. The bumper bracket supports there also from uh, Wolf Parts. And there's an NOS uh, front bullet fender, which is a two-year fender, tough to get. Here's the other front paneling. The, the sheet metal is just fantastic if you can get it from these places. If you're on a budget, yeah, I mean, CIP and, and, and JBugs are fine, but just remember, it, it could take quite a bit of time to get it to fit right on the car. Really sweet. So if you guys have any questions about these panels or, or how we operate here, or when we do a, you know, a build a bug project, a resto project for a client, just give me a shout. Um, just be sure to subscribe, like, hit that bell, and uh, I will speak to you later. Take care. Thank you.